in the lush landscapes of the Philippines, beneath its vibrant culture and amidst its resilient people, a silent battle rages, one that could define the future of its over 100 million inhabitants. At the heart of this struggle lies a profound question, who truly champions the Filipino people? Is it Uncle Sam with his promises of democracy and aid, or is it Marcos, draped in the legacy and controversy of his name? The Philippines' relationship with the United States is woven into the very fabric of its history, marked by colonization, war, and a long-standing military presence. This complex backdrop sets the stage for understanding the modern dynamics between the two. The Marcos family has been a political powerhouse in the Philippines with Ferdinand Marcos's rule from 1965 to 1986, remembered for martial law and widespread corruption. Today, his legacy continues to polarize opinions as his descendants remain influential figures. From the moment the U.S. won the Philippines from Spain in 1898, American influence has been significant. Policies and aid from the U.S. have often dictated local politics, sometimes sidelining the very interests of the Filipinos they claim to protect. Instances like the Bell Trade Act and Military Bases Agreement highlight how U.S. interests have often overshadowed Philippine sovereignty, raising questions about the real benefits of such a partnership. Ferdinand Marcos's rule was characterized by brutal crackdowns on dissent and unprecedented plunder of national resources. However, Marcos also initiated infrastructure projects and cultural nationalism, which some Filipinos remember fondly. With Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr.'s recent ascent to power, there is renewed scrutiny on whether this signals a return to authoritarian practices or a misunderstood redemption of the Marcos name. Economically, the Philippines remains in a challenging position. While American influence brought certain industries and investments, it also made the country dependent on foreign aid and favorable political climates. Under Marcos, the focus might shift towards more self-reliant policies, but the history of corruption poses significant risks to economic stability and equitable growth. American cultural influence is ubiquitous in the Philippines, from media consumption to educational systems, often overshadowing local traditions and creating a cultural imbalance. This cultural dominance raises concerns about the erosion of indigenous Philippine cultures and languages and the long-term impact on national identity. The U.S. has maintained a strategic military interest in the Philippines, viewing it as a pivotal point in the Asia-Pacific region's security network. This has resulted in numerous agreements, which, while beneficial for regional security, often compromise Philippine autonomy. The Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, or EDCA, and the Visiting Forces Agreement, known as VFA, are contemporary examples where sovereignty and external security needs are in constant tension. Both the U.S. and the Marcos family have adeptly used media to craft their images. The U.S. promotes itself as a beacon of freedom and progress, while the Marcoses have attempted to rehabilitate their historical image. In the digital age, social media platforms have become battlegrounds for these narratives, influencing public perception significantly. The future of the Philippines could swing dramatically depending on its political and international alignments. A closer alliance with the U.S. might promise more economic aid and military security, whereas a tilt towards autonomous governance under local leaders like Marcos could mean a reassertion of national sovereignty but with potential isolation risks. International advocacy and the influential Filipino diaspora could play pivotal roles in steering these outcomes towards more democratic and equitable directions. As the Philippines stands at this crucial crossroads, the choice between aligning with Uncle Sam or backing the Marcos dynasty is not just about picking sides, it's about deciding the kind of future Filipinos want for their nation. Understanding these dynamics is essential for every Filipino as they navigate their country's path forward, 
striving for a nation that truly serves the interests of its people over those of foreign or familial powers. Engaging in informed, critical discourse is more crucial than ever in these transformative times. So join us on this journey.